Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of dynamic form series. So in this one, we are going to see how to apply permission set filter on sections or fields in a dynamic form using custom permission. And I'll also show you and I'll also explain you why do we have to use custom permissions in, instead of uh, permission sets directly. All right. So I'll move to the Salesforce Devel developer org. So this is my org and I'll go back to the account page. Okay, so this is my account record page and let's say this is my, uh, so on this section, I want to apply a permission set filter. And before that, I want to show you the permission sets that I have. So I uh, navigated to, to my permission set clicking on setup and then you can click on home icon, not the home icon, the home tab, and then you can search for permission sets. So permission sets. Now let's just take any of these permission sets. Let's say the first one, access to contacts, okay? So I want to apply this permission set filter onto this section, okay? Now let's just see what are the options that are available. So if I click on add filter, and from here, I will not be able to find that, right? Because these are only the fields that are available on account object. If I click on advanced, and if I click on select, the options that I have here is device, user, permissions, and record. So in the previous session, we saw how we can actually reach to the profile in order to apply profile filter. That was via user, right? If I click on user and if I search for profile, I get the profile and then I can simply search for name, right? But for user and permission set, there is no direct connection from user to permission set. So there is no way that like, you know, by choosing the user, you can find the permission set option, okay? So basically, Basically, there is no way that you can actually and if I click on permissions right it will only show me a custom permissions and standard permissions okay it is not going to show me the option for permission set all right so that is the reason that I cannot directly apply a permission set filter but what I can do is I can create a custom permission and uh, assign that custom permission to the permission set that I want to use and then come back here and choose that custom permission okay so basically there are three steps involved the first step is to create a custom permission second step is to assign that particular permission set sorry custom permission to the permis permission set and third step is to come back to the dynamic form and choose that custom permission as the filter okay so and one more thing before i uh, actually like you know proceed with all the options i want to show you something so for now you are seeing custom permission and standard permission option here right let's say if i go back to my if I go to my custom permissions and I have one here, but let me delete this. Okay. So for now, I don't have any custom permissions. And if I refresh this, Okay, add filter, advanced, select, permissions, here, right? So do not get confused, okay? So if you're not seeing the custom permission option, that means you don't have any custom permission in your system. So you first have to create perm uh, custom permissions and then only you will be able to see the custom permission option here, okay? So for now, it is only giving me standard permission op option because I don't have any custom permissions in my system, okay? So let's just follow all the steps that I mentioned, step one, two, three. So starting with creating a custom permission. So I have navigated to custom permissions. You can click on gear icon, navigate to setup, click on home, and you can find custom permissions here and click on new and create a custom permission. So um, access to contacts, custom permission. Okay. So this is step one to creating, to create a custom permission. So I have created the custom permission. Now I need to navigate to that permission set, which I want to uh, use in the filter. Okay. So I'm going to the permission set and this is the permission set access to contacts, clicking on this. And here you will find an option for custom permissions. Here it is. Okay. So custom permissions and click on edit. And you have to assign this custom permission to this permission set. So this is the permission set. And this is the custom permission I'm assigning, the one I just created, OK? And click on Save. So basically, the moment you apply the filter for that particular custom permission, because that custom permission is applied to this particular permission set, the filter will 
like you know be applied to this particular permission set so now i have done step number two now let's just go ahead and do step number three so i would have to reload this this section and i'm going to apply the permission set which is nothing but custom permission filter here so permissions custom permissions now see the option has started coming up right custom permissions and this is the custom permission that i created so i just have to select this custom permission and i don't have to care about the permission set anymore because i have assigned this particular custom permission to that permission set okay so click on this and click on done Okay, and it is showing as equals to true because this is an assignment, right? This particular custom permission has been assigned to that particular permission set, okay? And then click on done. So basically now, this section will only be visible to those users who have which permission set, who have, whoever has been assigned to this permission set, okay? So, uh, so this permission set and this permission set has been assigned to the custom permission that I just created this one. Okay. So now I just have to navigate to any of the users and assign this permission set. Okay. Because now this particular section will not be visible to anybody else who is not assigned with this permission set. Okay. So let me just first save this and I am logged in as system admin. Okay. And to my user, this particular permission set is not assigned or let me just check. Uh, let me refresh this. So permission set assignment is zero, right? To my user, there is no permission set assignment. So basically as per the permission set assignment that I have, I should not be able to see this particular section because this will only be visible to the people who have been assigned to that particular permission set. Okay. So let me navigate to uh, accounts and try to see the first section. So here it is. Okay. I am not able to see the first section of account basic info okay now i will go ahead and assign myself itself to that with this particular permission set okay so let me again go back to the settings advanced and you can do it with any user right for now i mean i don't want to log in as any other user uh, i can rather like you know assign the permission set to myself because i'm already an admin and i can check if that section is uh, visible to me or not so access to context this is the permission set to which we have assigned that custom permission, the one which we have used in the filter, okay? Here and then save. So now my user, like, you know, which I am logged in with, I have that permission set assigned. Now, if I navigate to accounts, I should be able to see the other section. So let me refresh this. So here it is, right? I hope you, uh, I hope you got the understanding of like, you know, how you can actually apply a permission set filter using custom permissions onto your dynamic forms. Okay. I'll see you in the next session till then keep practicing. Bye-bye.